I'm Tatiana and welcome back to Living Las Vegas. So today we are here at Harrah's Casino and we're going to be walking through the property. Um, I'm actually going to be doing this video in two parts. So the first part is just going to be a casino tour and then the second part will be the room and spa and pool. So anyways, but like I said, today is just the casino walkthrough. Um, I've been in here but I didn't know it had a lot of stuff. There's a lot of lot of um, shops and restaurants and things in here that I didn't know. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But before we get to it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. But we're going to keep this short and simple and to the point, so let's just get into it. Alright guys, let's get straight into it. We are starting off where I'm pointing is the parking lot like entrance that leads this direction towards the casino. So this is the entrance that we're starting from. It's like a second level little thing that has a couple shops, obviously Ben and Jerry's. There's pool access that way, um, which you will see the pool in the second video. But heading down this escalator is gonna lead us right into the casino. Straight away to the right, guys, is a food court here, which actually has a variety of different foods from like a Mexican feel, deli sandwiches, um, salads, pizza, etc. That's the Fulton Street like food court. And then there's a bar here in this section. Lots of seating, lots of food options. I think there's even sushi. Um, can't remember right now though doing the voiceover I do apologize, but this is a nice hangout area. Um, I actually had to there was no seating where I went to eat somewhere else and then I actually had to bring my food over to this food court. So it is nice that there is like just alternative seating to just kind of hang out, relax, have a drink or eat. Um, walking through here, guys, notice it's kind of busy. It's really packed. Um, going through here, there's a lot of people in the hotel, um, but just walking through that section, it was primarily slots. I'm gonna try to follow the best path that I can um, and then just explain what you're seeing here but uh, to the right is additional slots and then um, <laughs> there's this really funny like I don't know figurine statue thing with these like just older school like Vegas kind of style people with bags of money and just all flashy and I thought that was really funny but going to the right here we just see more slots down at the bottom and then continuing on, um, there's slots to the left. Honestly, there's slots everywhere. <laughs> there's slots all over the place. Um, straight ahead here is the oyster bar. Now I'm particularly allergic to seafood, so I would not be eating here, but this definitely seems like a good place to have a meal. It's like really packed in there. And if you'll see right here in front of me, there's even people waiting in line to eat there. Okay, so coming out of that section, I wanted to speed through because there wasn't too much to see except for the slots on the left, but we do have the box office here and there's like additional slots area there and then behind those slots are like an exit towards the strip side. So I just kind of did a little pan and then we are going to turn back around and head the exact direction that we came from because I did want to stay on some semblance of a path so that I could make sure that I was like just capturing everything the best that I could. I'm pointing because somebody's asking where the oyster bar is, which I also knew where it was because I just <laughs> had seen it. But um, we're going to then pan to the right here and take a look at the slots and just these are like where the older slots are like video poker and and whatnot. And so yeah, let's go ahead and just speed through and walk past the oyster bar again.
Okay, so now we are looking at more slots. <laughs> this casino is quite big, but the way that it's laid out, I believe makes it feel even larger than it is. So you see now I'm not on a path. I wanted to follow some kind of path, but there's not. But to the left of me, there are some table games. To the right of me are some slots. Then we're gonna go through this like kind of triangled arch area and you'll see like the um, Caesars rewards, like virtual check-in things. And then um, there's more tables, which huh, I kind of lingered on the tables too long because I could have gotten in trouble. I'm not supposed to film. Um, and then I believe this is the Caesars reward section right there, yep. And more tables and more slots and people waiting in line to sign up for the Caesars rewards, which that is part of the reason why I am able to stay at a lot of these locations. Um, because of being a rewards member now check out pizza cake guys <laughs> sorry check out pizza cake guys i didn't even know this was a thing i didn't even know this was here and i've now eaten there twice um you may or may not have seen my youtube short on this uh location where you get a close-up of just inside pizza cake the food and i talk about it so you can find that on the youtube short and also um on my Instagram, you can go follow me at Tatiana Sharice. And then these are like the virtual like um, blackjack and roulette areas. And I'm actually not sure what I'm about to come up on right now. Um, so I do apologize. Oh, the piano bar. <laughs> this piano bar was, um, there's always crowds of people like around the piano bar area and they're just, you know, cause they have live performers, either people playing the piano or people singing, but let's cut the volume back up so we can check out this performer. Sorry to cut that short, but I just don't know if I'm going to be copyrighted just because the song is still, it's a Mariah Carey song, but this woman was giving her all, and I love how supportive the crowd was being, because a lot of times the crowd is really, really into it on the inside, and people gather around like you see. Now there is this like open area, which has like a bar, you can head towards the link from that direction. And then of course, a trusty Starbucks. There's always Starbucks in pretty much every property, sometimes multiples, but let's go ahead and just head back the opposite direction. Um, like I said, we have Starbucks. There is like a, um, you know, one of those big tall drink numb. There's like two of them in here um, where you can get access to like the really big frozen like daiquiri or like margarita drinks. And then coming up here to the right, is going to be the sports book so let's go ahead and walk in there if i'm honest i really did feel like the sports book was a decent size not too shabby um like not really really big but also not too shabby like i i have noticed i do have a preference like some areas you know are not the most appealing to hang out in and then some are yeah i'm going to actually walk through right here but they have the individual seating chairs which is really nice um, and then they also have like lounge, like bar kind of section. So it really just depends on like, obviously what games playing and like what kind of experience you want here in the sorts in the sports book. Wow. I cannot talk. The S words are very hard for me today. You guys, <laughs> but heading out of there, I think that was a, like a little section for like back wrap back there. And then I'm just kind of wandering through the casino <laughs> because I'm trying to like find a path and boom, here is one. But there's just like a lot of slots, like I said, and so we're gonna head back up to um, the level that I kind of first started in when I walked up the ramp. You'll see the people with the statue figurine thing with the bags of money. And then I walk back down this ramp here because I'm pretty sure I'm just heading back to where I started. Um, that's basically it in terms of like, what was around or at least what I walked through and what I could see and so as I continue down this path here you guys will see more slots and everything and yeah let's just continue walking and I'll check you guys again in a second <music>
Now we're approaching back to the escalators that I first came down. I did want to walk by this section because there are some shops here. Um, and this leads to like the hotel lobby where you would check in for guests and everything. Normally I do like leave this for when I do the hotel sides of things, but I thought this was cool to just kind of check out because they do have some restaurants over here. They have a bar like right in on check-in. So like maybe if you arrive early, you want to hang out the bar. Starbucks is right there. Um, and then they have like, you know, one of those essential shops in the area. This is the lobby and like, I think it's really pretty here over at the check-in area like i said an essential shop and then in a second a security guard is going to tell me that i need to shut off my camera <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um stay tuned for the next one and i'll check you later That is it for me for today from Harris. I hope you enjoyed walking through the casino and seeing all that it had to offer. It is quite big actually, um, bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And so yeah, I really enjoyed walking through here. I enjoyed staying here. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out with me. If you guys did like the video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. But until next time guys, much love.